Hello and, Hello and welcome to Serious Act News. Do you use commanding and signaling devices to control your plants? Do you think it's important to save time and consequently money when installing equipment? Do you want to avoid errors during installation? If so, we have the right solution for you. The Sirius Act communication solution makes a quick and simple job of connecting up to 21 commanding and signaling devices to the controller via Profinet. Terminal modules and interface modules are mounted on the standard commanding and signaling devices in the simple fashion to which you've been accustomed, and to save time, are connected up by means of a ribbon cable without the use of any special tool. Fail-safe devices, such as emergency stops, can be integrated up to SEAL 3. Sirius Act with Profinet gives you a high level of flexibility thanks to additional digital inputs and outputs and is fully integrated into the TIA portal. This system not only cuts the time spent on wiring, but also reduces the number of possible sources of error. Durch dieses System sparen Sie nicht nur Verdrahtungszeit, sondern reduzieren auch mögliche Fehlerquellen. Let's ask my colleague Helmut how using Sirius Act with Profinet can save time and reduce errors in installation work. Hi, Helmut. Hi, Eva. What would you say is the main benefit of Sirius Act with Profinet? Sirius Act with Profinet greatly reduces the time spent on installation and wiring. How does that work? The system has such a simple design that anyone can install and wire it up. Really? Anyone? Yes. There are just a few things you have to remember. You always need one interface module per application. If the application includes an emergency stop, the yellow interface module has to be snapped onto the emergency stop device itself. If the application doesn't include an emergency stop, the black interface module can be mounted on any serious ACT device. An LED module can also be plugged in to the interface module for an illuminated emergency stop, for example. There are three different terminal modules, one for an illuminated commanding device, one for a non-illuminated commanding device, and the third for a signaling device such as an indicator light. This is how you install the equipment. This application has an emergency stop, so the interface module is snapped onto the emergency stop device itself. This is followed by a terminal module. Here, we have a non-illuminated push button. The non-illuminated terminal module is clicked directly onto the push button. When you hear it click, you know that it's firmly in place. Finally, the terminal module for the indicator light is snapped onto the assembly. You need a ribbon cable. Here's one that has already been wired up. The ribbon cable is plugged into the slot. Here, you just have to make sure that the red wire of the ribbon cable is always mounted in just the right position. Then you take a screwdriver and fasten it in position. Then you cut off the cable with a pair of scissors or wire cutters. The colored wire must be mounted in just the right position once more and the cable is simply inserted. You just do the same for the final wiring of the terminal modules. Insert into the slot, close, cut off, insert into the last terminal module and close. And that's it. The system is completely installed and wired up. Abschneiden und in das letzte Terminal Modul eingesteckt. Jetzt ist Sirius Act mit Profinet komplett verdrahtet und montiert. That looks pretty easy. It is. But do you really save so much time compared to standard technology? Let's give it a try. Come with me. Dafür habe ich genau was vorbereitet. Komm doch einfach mal mit. Okay, great. So, Eva, here are the two control cabinets I've prepared. One has Sirius Act with Profinet. The other has standard wiring. I'd say we should do a little challenge. You wire up the control cabinet with Sirius Act with Profinet, and I'll do the one with standard wiring. And I bet you're faster. Okay, let's see what happens.
finished. What about you, Helmut? I've just installed the first wire. I think it's going to take me longer. How do I know that I've wired everything correctly? You can test the whole system without software by connecting 24 volts at the interface module. I've prepared something for you. If you connect the 24 volts at the interface module and the green diagnostic LED lights up, it means that you've wired everything correctly. You can even test whether the commanding and signaling devices are working by pressing the button at the front. If the diagnostic LED on the back flashes, you know that the commanding and signaling devices are working. That's really clever. As you've seen today, Sirius Act with Profinet doesn't only save you time with installation and wiring. The clever test option means that you can be sure you haven't made any mistakes. In the next Sirius Act news item, we will explain how to configure hardware in the TIA portal. Why not take a look? Bye-bye. See you next time. In diesem Sinne, tschüss und bis zum nächsten Mal.